It's easy to say the Adidas Samba is, is a perfect sneaker until you hear what people really have to but say. For me personally, this colorway specifically, it, it ain't really my vibe. I ain't gonna lie. This sneaker is not making it in it's my bag. It's not it? making it in my bag. So let me ask you this. So I'm guessing if you had a vacation and you had to pick one sneaker, I'm guessing this will not make the list. First, the Samba isn't just a popular sneaker. This is one that has decades of influence and has a special place in fashion, especially in today's trends. So I'll be breaking down some easy ways you can go ahead and style the Adidas Sambas, but the video does not end there. Five people are about to reveal what they really think, and this could make or break the sneaker's reputation. I'll also quickly dive into a review of the Adidas Sambas, which I'll go ahead and link in the description for you guys as well. But stay tuned until the end as the truth will blow your mind. Unboxing the Adidas Sambas in that cloud white and also the Better Scarlet colorway honestly felt like opening up a time capsule. And with that history steeped in the soccer culture, but also that streetwear, I felt excited, but also a bit skeptical. Now, each step I was greeted with that rich leather and there was still a deep down lurking feeling on does this sneaker really live up to the hype? So with time, anticipation brewed up within me and I decided to get some unfiltered opinions with some local sneaker fans. But first, we must see how this sneaker looks when styled. Picture this, a red beanie, white shorts, a black crew neck, shades, and the Sambas. Together, they make a statement that feels casual yet iconic. But is it fall ready though? Here we have a red flannel, some distressed denim, a black tee that gives us that perfect fall vibe, all grounded by the clean Adidas Sambas. But hold on because next up, we're pushing boundaries with a business casual twist. Off the walk-in, as you guys can see, I got the green jacket, the red beanie from earlier, and the black pants. And this style already stands out, and the white watch keeps it fresh, all centered around the white Adidas Sambas. But with that being said, do not go anywhere because my top way to rock these kicks is coming up and it's a look that just hits different. For the grand finale, I got the best of both worlds with the red and blue jacket and I balanced it off with the gray cargo pants. And then I had that babe shirt and then topped it off with the black hat featuring those bold yellow accents. And then the Adidas Sambas kind of grounded this combo, but there's still the lurking question. Are these iconic as they seem or is it all hype? Let's go ahead and hit the mall and find out. So today I'm here with... I'm Ethan, what's up? How's it been? Perla. Riley Jones. Ben. Alan. So Ethan, my first question I have for you on these Adidas in that cloud white colorway is, be honest, first impressions, what are you thinking about when looking at this sneaker right here? Honestly, like looking at this shoe, it's actually really, really nice. I really do love the red with the white, especially the brown bottoms. It's amazing. I'm a soccer player, so I use them to play soccer, to be honest. So it's an everyday thing for me. When I was like growing up in high school, that was like my shoe to go. I would wear it every day because I would go play soccer after school. So for sure. yeah, I, mean, I like them. So it's nostalgic. I see yeah. it. Okay. So. I don't know. I like the red. The red's not too overpowering, but I feel like I would just get the shoe dirty overall. First look at it, it's a pretty good color. Colorway. Um, I like the white on it and how the red stripes go with it. I think I do have a problem with the sole though. So I did hear you say you don't like the sole. What about the sole would you change? I don't know. It just doesn't really go with the uh, colorway. Okay. Maybe like a full white on it or even maybe a red sole. I know for sure. Like when I first seen the Zambas and I seen them on other people's feet, I was like, oh, it was real decent. They, they can like really put a little fit together with them. But for me personally, this colorway specifically, it, it ain't really my vibe. I ain't gonna lie. You mentioned about like you seeing other people wearing sneakers and stuff like that. Yeah. So this being a sneaker trend do you think like seeing other people wearing sneakers like actually impacts you to buy them or how do you feel about that me personally sometimes there's some shoes i've seen people rocking i'm like oh i gotta get those uh -huh. they're really nice sometimes i'm like oh everybody got them you kind of fall back there's like a fine line that you gotta find with the shoes and like in terms of trends but once you find it you can either ride the wave or you can just completely like stay on the beach Simple as that. For yeah. sure. So with this sneaker trend, you riding the wave or you not riding the wave? Uh, me, me personally, nah. I'm okay. leaving up to other people. At first I was, I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking about it. Yeah. But then, I don't know if I got a little bit older or I seen it a little bit more, but uh, they ain't me. They ain't For sure. Body. And that's real. What does your outfit look like if you're putting on these shoes right here? Something like casual, but nothing too, too crazy. You know what I mean? Like I mentioned, I, I will play soccer, so I will usually wear my Adidas pants uh -huh. with them. Or like if I'm just going to go out, jeans. Probably go something like white on top and then black on the bottom. Uh, nothing too fancy, just something casual. So like maybe a red shirt and then white pants or some type of like corduroy. Okay. That's like a basic black or white color. Imagine you're on a vacation, right? You need to pack a bag. Yeah. Is this 
sneaker making it or is it not making it? Yeah, definitely. Dude, I would take this shoe because if you think about it, it's nice. And plus you can get a bunch of compliments along the way with this. If it was Valentine's maybe, but <laughs> the sneaker is not making it in it's my bag. It's not, it's not it? making it in my bag. I just don't want to get it dirty. I think it's too nice to get dirty, um, but it's, it's a nice shoe. It's just not my, my style if I had to pack a bag. So now that you guys have got a better feel of this sneaker trend, the Adidas Sambas, let us go ahead and see some more budget picks just like this one. So click this video to see the top 10 best fall shoes under $100.